All right, people, here we are with a uh, game featuring Skullbriar. We've got a couple opponents here. The first one is Nicole Bolas, uh, Grixis Control, typically. The second opponent is Horde of Notions. It could be anything from Elementals to Five Color Control to Five Color Good Stuff. And then Karthus, Tyrant of Jun. Lots of dragons. <coughs> My initial hand here uh, is crap because I don't have any colored mana. Uh, this is also a version of the deck before I took Soul Ring out. I just didn't feel like I really needed it. Um, and I think I replaced it with Murder. I'm not sure. But anyways, I go ahead and um, Mulligan into uh, Golgari Key Rune Expedition Map and two forests, which means that it's not going to be a real fast start, but at least I know I'll be able to play Skullbriar by at least turn three at the latest. You know, this is one of those games where not rushing things out kind of helps me. So, it's not ideal, but I'm fine with it. Um, Karthus starts out with Spine Rock Knoll. I draw a reassembling skeleton, doesn't help. Uh, play Expedition Map. I was really hoping for... Um, a source of black mana in my second turn, but I remember I don't get it here. I don't. I get full rest stronghold. I'm going to sacrifice expedition map for um, Bayou. I have the opportunity to get uh, Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, but I just didn't want to get Legend ruled out. Karthus plays Palladium Myr. Out comes Skullbriar. I go ahead and attack the Horde because I don't know what to expect from him yet. Bolas plays Howling Mine, which was a little surprising. and Not 100% sure what to expect, but I'm not going to turn it down. Karthus uh, uses Bloodbraid Elf to cascade into Devoted Druid. He's got Moonveil Dragon and Kakusho and Charnel Horde Worm and Hellkite Overlord and Flame Blast Dragon and Savage Beating. So it's pretty aggressive, standard Jun, you know, power deck or whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead on my next turn, uh, attack Bolas, just because it uh, looks like Horde is a little mana screwed right now. And then I'm going to put a Predatory Hunger on Skullbriar. And I fully expect to see a lot of creatures from Karthus uh, to uh, make Predatory Hunger actually work and worthwhile. Bolas plays Hall of the Bandit Lord. Horde gets another land, but isn't doing so hot. Oh yeah, so Karth is hull breached and got rid of my Predatory Hunger before I could put any counters on Skullbriar, as well as Howling Mine. And then he went ahead and uh, attacked Bolas. So that slows things down a little bit, but, you know, at least I've got some additional draw with Moriok Replica here. Oh, a Phyrexia Arena. So I'm attacking Bolas again, adding more counters to Skullbriar. I need that <laughs> draw to help me out, because I've only really got the two sources of black mana. Oh, hey, look, Wormcoil Engine. Cast with Hall of the Bandit Lord, so he has haste, but he doesn't attack. Chromatic Lantern to help out with his mana issues for Horde. And out comes Utvara Hillkite. Uh, that's a pretty popular dragon I've been seeing a lot recently just because of the ability to um, make additional dragons. Uh, I'm not surprised that he'd rather play that before Karthus coming out, especially because Karthus has haste. But he's been uh, targeting Bolas. Mainly, I mean, Bolas by himself uh, is scary enough, but with Hall of the Bandit Lord to possibly pump him out and uh, give him haste, you got to worry about the turn that he actually gets to hit 8 mana. So right now I drew two lands, which is fine, I guess. Um, I'm still not real scary, but I want Skullbriar to keep getting counters, so I... Uh, I attack the Horde of Notions player. I play the Replica um, and the Skeleton just as a blocker. Still don't have a sack outlet for, for uh, Skullbriar. 
Bolas uses zealous conscripts to steal Upfair Hellkite so that he can have another dragon. And he attacked um, me with. Oh no, he attacked, I'm sorry, Karthus with both of those guys. So these two are actually going at it. Now, Horde of Notions actually does something that's pretty interesting. He plays Consuming, God, I don't even remember this card, Vortex, um, Balancing Skullbriar. But the best part is, since Consuming Vortex is an old arcane spell, he splices Evermind onto it. And that, I just got to give that guy major props for playing that card. So he's a he's an arcane spirit deck is what it looks like. Karthus is going to come out to play now. Basically, I'm I'm not much of a threat at all. Bolus has worm coil engine. Horde of notions is apparently not all that um, over the top powerful, and I just lost all the counters on Skullbriar, which is sad times for me. So it looks like uh, Bolus and Karthus are just going to go after each other. Battle of the Dragons. And everybody goes after um, Bolus here. Knocking him down to 7. I figure I need to stop all the dragon madness because all these dragons are just going to go freaking nuts next turn. And I sack the replica to get Glissa and the Carpet of Flowers, which isn't going to help me a ton. But I play Glissa, and I go ahead and put um, Spike Weaver out there. Or I will in just a sec. There we go. Spike Weaver is going to come up big in this game, as we will see in just a moment. Liliana comes out, and she tutors. I assume she's tutoring for a Wrath at this point. I'm fine with that. She doesn't really do anything. Horde plays... Mana Reflection. All of a sudden, Horde turns from a non-threat into a bigger threat. Karthus has a crap ton of dragons, and he can take out probably two players right now. And he decides to try and take out the Horde player and Bolas. I've got nothing in my hand that's going to help me with all the dragon problems, so my decision is whether or not to let him take out two players and just go mano a mano with him, which, um, based upon my hand right now, I just don't think is going to help. Or I can use Spike Weaver's Fog Effect, keep everybody alive, and hopefully let somebody else deal with uh, Karthus's horde of dragons. Uh, at this point, I realize it's better just to try and take my chances, and I use Spike Weaver to fog. And everybody's very happy. And then Drum Hunter comes out. Drum Hunter is a cool underused card uh, that I think more people should play with. A um, little mana, a little card draw. It's on a not so hefty creature means that people are just going to ignore him most of the time. But look at all those dragons! Holy cow! Just a very Hellkite just makes things go nuts. Uh, luckily, unless they get rid of uh, Spike Weaver, I can fog two more times. And of course, if I had decided to let those other guys die, I would have died the next turn, because my two, next two draws were pretty crap. So, I'm going to play a land. Carpet of Flowers doesn't do jack for me this game. I bust Skullbriar out, and I go ahead and... Oh, I, that's right, I put the Warhammer on him, because I figure I'm going to need some life. And I attack a Horde of Notions, mainly because he can't block. He's also got Mana Reflection, and he's the one that bounced Skullbriar. Um, Bolas uses Liliana to tutor once again. And he casts Overwhelming Forces, specifically targeting Karthus, who has like 20-something creatures or something like that right here. So that's going to be a good play for him. Uh, and if he doesn't draw um, 
reliquary tower, I'm going to be able to see what he discards to get a better look at uh, the stuff that he's, he's playing. I also get to use um, Glissa to balance both my artifacts uh, to my hand, Moriarch Replica and Expedition Map. So yeah, he drew like almost 18 cards or something like that. Maybe it's less than that. I'm exaggerating, but it doesn't matter. Well, those triggers don't do anything. He attacks Carthus. Gains some life from Warp Warm Coil Engine. Okay, this is the interesting part. Stop. Looking at his graveyard. He's got Wheel of Fortune, Teferi's Puzzle Box, Windfall. He already played Howling Mine. Liliana's Caress, Curiosity, Psychosis Crawler, Spiteful Visions, and Mole Drifter. Essentially, his Bolus deck is very similar to the Bolus deck I wrote about when I was covering all the Elder Dragons. Like, I don't know, 18 articles ago or something like that. So I know that his his deck can get really nutty really quick and I just don't want to see that happen uh, I just don't <laughs> he's also playing curiosity which is kinda goofy but I assume that's because he's running Niv Mezzet or something like that Horde plays Primordial, Primordial Sage it's a spirit deck Haru Ona he's drawing a few more cards setting up more mana Looks like Karthus doesn't have nearly as much mana as he used to. He plays Joraga Tree Speaker. He's also got Fires of Yavimaya out there. I'm drawing tons of land now. Um, useless, whatever. Fire Shrieker. Put it on Skullbriar, and I'm going to um, also play Power Matrix, which gets commandeered. But it doesn't matter. Um, I attack um, Bolas and take him out due to the double strike that Skullbriar has and Glissa as well. And I get my power matrix back, which I'm happy about. Alright. Um, Horde plays Oyobi. Oyobi is one of those creatures that like I always look at and I'm like, wow, this would be a fun card to play with, you know. I could just play a bunch of spirits and um, make a bunch of like 3-3 three, three flying guys and stuff like that and I just can never actually justify putting it in any of my decks. And I've never made a spirit tribal deck, but if I ever did, I know I would put him in there. He's a cool looking dude too, but, you know. Um... Looks like it's, you know, a fun little card for the Horde player to play with. And he's got Mana Reflection out there to help him cast all these guys. And, like, he's already pumping out little spirits. I've never seen that spirit token before. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be. And then he plays the Green Honden, which is going to make little dudes for him. Uh, Karthus, still having a little bit of mana trouble this late in the game, plays Broodmate Dragon. He's hoping to, um... Um get some blockers because obviously Skullbriar is kind of a threat. I draw Dothy Embrace and Increasing um, Savagery. I go ahead and... S oh, that's right. I pick up Shizo so that I can um, get him through. And Skullbriar is big enough now where if unblocked he can kill people um, because he's got uh, double strike, his power is really high, uh, double strike fear, trample lifelink, the fear is from Shizo. Uh, so I figure this way at least I'll make sure that he can get past, he was able to get past all the um, creatures that Horde had because Horde's only black creature was uh, Nether Shadow and Nether Shadow has Shadow. Maybe he's Nether Spirit, whatever, Nether Spirit. Um, and so he couldn't block me anyway, so I just went ahead and took him out, especially because he had the mana reflection. Uh, next turn I plan on playing Dothy Embrace so that I can slip right by uh, all of Carthus's creatures and kill him. 
Karthus can Wrath right now, but I don't think that's really going to help him. Oh, Steel Hellkite with Haste. Uh, that's a little scary. I go ahead and Fog. If I'd really wanted to, I could have Crozen Gripped um, the Hellkite. I had enough mana. I figured I'd rather play the hold the Crozen Grip for something bigger and scarier if it came out. I'm not specifically sure what, but you never know. At this point, the game's mine. I play the Dothy Embrace <coughs> after the increasing savagery. If I'd really wanted to, I could have like flashed it back for whatever seven mana and like made Skullbriar really freaking huge. But I decide not to. It doesn't matter. I Dothy Embrace and then I make give him Shadow, and that's the game. So essentially, I'm able to kill all three of my opponents with um, Commander damage and. Oh, that's right. He racked those charms, my uh, Fire Shrieker. So he has one more turn, and then I play Moriok Replica just so I can draw some more. Uh, he tries to steal Hellkite again. I go ahead and Fog again with Spike Weaver, and he essentially concedes. Momentous Fall and Doubling Season are both great cards, but I don't need them right now. I just I give him shadow, and that's it. This is one of those games where, um, you know, the temptation is always to let your opponents kill each other. Uh, but obviously, Carthus's um, board was so out of control that there was no way I was going to be able to take him out on my own, unless I happened to luck into um, drawing Damnation or something that like that. And I didn't. And luckily, the Nicole Bolas player was able to play a card that specifically targeted uh, the person with the biggest board presence. And that allowed me to come in and clean up afterwards. So there we go. Uh, Skullbriar being victorious. Yes, the game has been canceled. <laughs>